Hey family, check this video out. Mel Gibson. Personally, I know many priests who have been canceled, but not for the reasons you'd think. I mean, it's not like they did a hit and run drive and left the scene of the crime or embezzled church funds, stole the altar wine or committed some other heinous crime. No. And who's persecuting them? Well, their own bishops. How's that? Who are they? Well, they're a pack of men who generally passively sit by and tolerate any kind of nonsense, but if one of their priests utters something that resembles orthodoxy, well, then they, they spring into action, they reprimand him, and they bully him and do their best to cancel him. And it's succeed. It's a symptom of a very deep sickness that afflicts the church. And how are we supposed to know the good guys from the bad guys? Well, we were given a standard by which to judge them. You know, by their fruits, you'll know them. By their fruits. Anybody seen any good fruit lately? It's tough. Anybody seen any good fruit lately? You know, Mel Gibson is mocking the word of God. Matthew 7, 15. Beware of false prophets who come in sheep's clothing. This madman looks like a wolf. Mel Gibson looks like a wolf. Personally, I know many priests. This guy is, this guy is diseased. There's two things he's saying that we need to be careful about. One, he's standing up for Orthodox. Orthodox people don't believe Jesus is the Messiah. They teach their children that Jesus is a myth. I know this firsthand because I talked to a teenager before with a Jewish family around them <clears throat> when his other brother was getting out of hand and misbehaving. And I said, you must honor your mother and father. And that's how the conversation started. I said, what do you think about Jesus? He said to me in front of his parents that he is a myth. And the parents did nothing about it. So he stands up for orthodox stuff, right? And he says usually they're passive aggressive, right? They let things slide. Yeah, a lot of Christians let things slide. This man who is a wolf, who is diseased, who has what no spirits living in him are telling us that most of us are passive, that we don't stand up for righteousness. And yet... All we have to do when we see this man is watch what the Lord does with this man. Because the word of God shall not be mocked. He messed up. I don't know what this silver thing is around his neck unless he's representing <clears throat> some kind of dark kingdom. <clears throat> Which we know Satan wears a breastplate on his own body. Looks like he's got a breastplate around his neck. I don't know what that is. But look. Matthew 15, 7, 15. You will recognize them by their fruits. Are grapes gathered from thorn bushes or figs from thistles? So every healthy tree bears good fruit, but the diseased tree bears bad fruit. This guy is a diseased tree. And, he's letting, and if you can decipher what he said in one minute, you'll know a lot about this diseased tree. So every healthy tree bears good fruit, but the diseased tree bears bad fruit. A healthy tree cannot bear bad fruit, nor can a diseased tree bear good fruit. Every tree that does not bear good fruit is cut down and thrown into the fire. Thus, you will recognize them by their fruits. What did he use to mock God? Look at this madman. Just to judge them. You know, by their fruits, you'll know them. By their fruits. Anybody seen any good fruit lately? Yeah. It's tough. Only watch with your eyes what the Lord does to this man. Continue to produce good fruit, family. Make it a, an effort to do good for God, right? For if, you look, if you read per Peter, you'll see that your good deeds do amazing things for your life once you're saved, <clears throat> once you've given your heart to God and you ask for forgiveness. Man, and then you start producing good fruit. Wow, some of the stuff, the awesome things he'll do for you. And it covers a multitude of sin. Jesus comes to forgive sin. And then once 
you become a Christian and you still don't know the word of God and you're, and you're on the milk like a lot of people are because of revivals going on right now, the 2023 of the coming together, <clears throat> they need milk. They need people in the church that know the word of God to support them and help them and carry their, their lives along with Jesus and know the enemy as well. But this man here who've, who've made movies about Christ, the passion of the Christ, Mel Gibson. Personally, I know many priests who have been cast. You know, by their fruits, you'll know them. By their fruits. Anybody seen any good fruit lately? Yeah. It's tough. Look at this madman. I know many priests. Look at this madman. He's not encouraging to do anything. He's saying, hmm. Don't you understand? The demons know what is being taught and what is being preached, family. That's the, that's the flag they see us. They're trying to combat us now. They know that your fruit does good. They know your fruit is recorded in heaven. You, They know that God sees all. The angels see all. And that heaven and hell is real. They know that your good deeds, deeds cover a multitude of sins. <clears throat> only watch with your eyes what happens to this man who is trying to bring up and keep some kind of old orthodox laws and he makes that most Christians are passive they don't do nothing right most people are passive they don't want confrontation Who have been canceled, but not for the reasons you think. I mean, it's not like they did a hit and run drive and left the scene of the crime or embezzled church funds, stole the oil. They're being canceled, right? Things are getting shut down. God's God is shutting down the people who are not producing or not giving the word of God, who are not telling you what will send a person to hell. He's taking it all away from them. He's giving it to someone else he can trust. And he knows, oh man, whatever things, spirits are living in this man, how many do we know can live in a man? Well, at least up to a thousand. Because Jesus asked the man who was at the tombstones, who was yelling out at night crying, and diverted his path to go see a man. And he goes, what is your name? He goes, my name is Legion, for there are many in me. There are many in me. These spirits are confessing something to us, but you have to have ears to hear what they're saying. These spirits that are coming out of this man's mouth are saying, don't believe New Testament. Don't believe that your good deeds will help you because they will. They won't save you, but they will help you. And then he finished it off with, have you seen any good fruit? And then he tries to discourage you, even if you're trying to do, you make, trying to make that first step of doing something good for God. It could be even picking a child that falls off his bike off the street. Oh, you know God's got you, man. You're going to be okay as long as you trust in Jesus. Go have fun. Go play. That's a good deed. That's a good deed. Jesus says, if you give a cup of water in my name to a little one, you do it for me. A cup of water? Man, it is serious. Hollywood sees what's going on. They're scared. They ought to be. Jesus is wiping the face of the earth off of the wicked. How many musicians are dying? Last two years, hundreds. Everybody, country, rap. They're dying before they even hit 70 years old. Watch these ravenous wolves. Beware of false prophets. I don't even hear them prophet other than making movies who come to you in sheep's clothing. Sit by and tolerate any kind of nonsense, but if one of their priests utters something that resembles orthodoxy, well, then they, they spring into action, they reprimand him, and they... Well, he's lifting up orchid, orthodox. They say an orthodox gets persecuted. It's, it's a symptom of a very deep sickness that... It's a disease... Right. And how are we supposed to He's a disease tree. Well, we were given a standard by which to judge them. You know, uh -huh. by their fruits, you'll 
though. Look, he was saying you can judge somebody by their fruits. You can't sit around and idle. That's why Jesus is a good God. When he goes back and gets people for the vineyard. And then he ends up paying them the all same. Didn't you agree to a penny a day? Or whatever it equals. Man, it's like, I was here six in the morning. This guy got here five o'clock in the afternoon. And you gave him the same as I did? I just talked about this iniquity, unfair, gross behavior. Jesus, man, I can't believe this stuff that you cannot make this stuff up, guys. The Holy Spirit is real. Ask for the Holy Spirit. Lord, whoever receives this, give them their Holy Spirit, Lord. Please, Father, the Holy Spirit needs to be poured out in these end times, we ask in Jesus' name. The wolves are coming out. They're on, they know that they're losing position. The king is coming back. So I hope this video shows you that the shaking is coming. It's already happening. The demons feel, feel it. The children of God see it coming. We're aware of the signs. So God bless and keep the faith.